We are at this moment in time at 9,929 followers. So we are 71 followers away for that wonderful 10K. Crazy. Is the F-104 any good? I don't know, I've never flown one. I've flown against them many times, um, but that's really about it. Did the on-screen chat die? No, it should be there. How easy is it to switch from Air AB to RB? Uh, it's not too different between the two. Uh, the, the, the only way you can find out is through experience. Um, at the same time, when it comes to AB and RB, It's not as if as it's not as if like one of the modes is superior or anything like that. Um, it's just more like whatever you enjoy. So give both a go, see which one you enjoy the most, and then just stick with it and have a bit of fun. Why is it you have 10k followers but only pull in like approximately 160 viewers? Um, because followers never actually equates to viewers, because a lot of people follow but then never view the channel. It's the same reason why if you have a look at a bunch of uh, YouTubes, um, uh, YouTubers, they'll have millions of uh, millions of subscribers, but only get like let's say fifty thousand a video. So it's just all about that, basically. Like people, people follow or people subscribe to shit, and then kind of forget about it or they're interested in like very specific content so they follow or subscribe and then when they just when that content comes around they watch it you just go into an 8-7 game yeah I know that's fine we will survive no it's as long as I know how to love I know I'll stay alive I got all my love to give. I got all my thoughts to give. I'm on a rumble. I'm on head on on side on on high. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to live, I know I stay alive. Yeah, we'll be fine. Is there a big difference in RP between AB and RB per hour? Technically, AB gives you more RP um, because of the victory bonuses um, in AB, but it's not a huge difference overall. Do you think the M1A3 will be added in the next patch? I don't know what the M1A3 is, but sure. I don't know. It's very hard to... I think eventually we'll get another Abrams tank, yes. What, uh, what premium ship would you recommend for a guy that's never played one match of naval, only rank three, um, I would say, well, if you, I would say start off with the the two fifty GE ships, to to have a look and give them a go, like the the starter ships, right? Like pick a nation that you find kind of interesting. I would say either give America or um, or Britain a go um, when it comes to early ships. And then from there, you know, maybe get the 250G ones to dip your water in, uh, dip your water in, dip your fit, dip your foot in the water, and then uh, see see what see if you enjoy it or not. There's no point in dropping a bunch of money on one specific premium when you can just get a few little ones and then see if you enjoy it, and then go from there. But just understand the starter premiums aren't exactly the best vehicles, but they'll give you a good head start into the tree. Just don't play the Clemsons, they're just so bad. We all must understand and play pain before we can really get true bliss. Or understand true bliss. Brother, could you target this dude so I can see what he is, so I can see if I can fight it or not? Eh, not really, but let's go. It's tango time! Where's he gone? There he is. 
That's not him. <laughs> That's an F-89. The bees around the honeypot is working. Looks like Winnie the Pooh has been captured. Oh, lovely flame. There we go. Oh, wait, hold up. There's an AI. No, Seahawk, please. I am but a poor 7-7 seven seven in an 8-7 world. Please. Thank you. I didn't think you meant to do that, but sure. <laughs> I'm constantly shooting over him. This hurts on a fundamental level. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I'm not really interested in fighting the uh, the Sabres. Um, not, not really interested. Would you recommend an RTX 2060 over a GTS 1660 Ti, both the 6 gig? Um, I'm not a computer man, I'm a caveman. Um, my 2070 works very well. Um, I'm able to max out War Thunder with uh, only v using a very small amount of it. So, yeah. That's basically my limit when it comes to this. I have people I go to when it comes to... When it comes to, uh, you know, computer parts and stuff. So, I should definitely not be seen as a source of good information <laughs> when it comes to... When it comes to computing. Yeah, there's a lot of guys who are very knowledgeable on the tech of about this stuff. There we go. Right. Now. That will be very useful as a backup uh, punching bag for the Sabre. So hopefully somebody can kill him. 2060 is definitely... Oh! 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 Perch! 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 Oh, it's time! Come on! No, you fat bottom girl! Come on! Yeah! J29! Better than Sabre. Look at that. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. If a J-29 can kill a Sabre, anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> oh, there's a panther. Right, here we go. Oh! We got his wing! Get him! Come on! Faster! Oh, wait, my combat flaps are down. Come on, superior speed. Push it. Oh, my God. Come on, Tub McGee. Push. Oh. Look how fast he is compared to us. We, <laughs> we literally can't do anything. Oh. Right. I'm pulling off, boys. I've done my job. We killed all the AI. We got ourselves a Sabre, and we've really, really hurt a, a Panther, so... I can't really ask for more. Is the Premium J29 as bad as this one? No, the Premium J29 is a lot better. It has 30s and an afterburner, so... has a lot more to it, really. Oh, a B-57. Oh, that B-57 is in a rough place. The, uh, the afterburner makes a lot of difference. Any servers uh, still taking a shit? Yeah, hopefully they fix them. Alright, here we go. 
the monstrosity of our time, the J29, is coming to play. Right, left wing damage. Oh. Go on your pot belly. Over we go. So there's a panther with half a wing and a B-57 left. Last shell, beauty. A beautiful sight of an Arado burning in the sunrise slash sunset. There we go. Lovely stuff. So let's reset. Let's see what goes on. Just had a really enjoyable dogfight in my SK-60 against the MiG-15. Took about five minutes, but I won. Well done. So the J-29 is better than the MD series. I mean, it's a tough call, man. Uh, <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're better at different things, but they're, they're both pretty, pretty bad. I've never, I've never fought um, a French vehicle in this, and vice versa, because you never really see J-29s, so I'm not sure. I think the uh, the MD series would definitely have the turns on this thing, but this thing I think has overall performance, um, which is better, so I'm not sure. Look at the speed. True. The wonderful speed. Look at the moves. Look at the speed. This thing also has a tiny air brake. It really is very small. There we go. Let's get it down. And bump. Nice. J-29s for the SK-60, the F-80 is a dog food, but J-29s can't do anything to it? Mm. Yeah, that's true. Like, I just, I feel like this thing does really badly against uh, Jack of All Trades aircraft. Because it, it doesn't really have something it can exploit on them. Ooh. One of now, Swedes? Yeah, true. Uh God. I miss um I miss Doa from casting because he used to cast uh, League of Legends career. He was a really good uh, really good cast member, but I'm not sure what he, he. I know he was doing Overwatch for a while, but I don't know what he's doing now. I think he did like Hearthstone for a while. Is leveling up ground and air important in this game? Uh, it depends what you play, Chili. Uh, also, thanks for the follow anuts, that's very kind of you. Um, but the So, if you play ground realistic, then it is incredibly important having both ground and vehicles of the same BRs uh, to put in the same lineup, because you want to have as full of a lineup as possible. If you just play air, then only air matters. And if you play ground arcade, only ground matters. If you play simulator, then in ground sim it matters, but in uh, in air sim it doesn't matter at all. So if you play those two game modes, um, ground realistic or ground sim, then yes it does matter to level them up uh, equally as you go along. If you play the other um, game modes though, then no, it, it doesn't matter at all. Depends on what your preference is. This looks like a saber that was never loved. Yeah. This is, this is the saber that decided that lard was a good choice. Right, let's see. Oh, I do miss uh, I do miss good fish and chips. Actually, I haven't had good fish and chips in a very long time. Would be lovely to have some again. 
Hey, we got the panther. Nice. Well done, everybody. Full marks all around. Hey, we got balancer as well. <laughs> uh, for shooting down that saber. Good old balancer. Lovely to see. That's 12k RP, 50k SL. What is that? That's the balancer one. Oh, that's rank doesn't matter. Oh, that's, so that's the saber. The, that's for the saber. You only get 750 SL for that. I feel like you should get a little bit more. And then also balancer, which is pretty nice. So we got all the Arados, we got the Saber, we also got uh, the Howitzer, and we created the Panther, but I'm guessing it didn't go down, which is a shame. But overall, once again, another nice little match in this, having, uh, having uh, a bit of fun with it. And we also get our SK-60s, so overall, very positive. Nice to see.